Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you are new then welcome. My name is Jillian. I'm a stay at home mom to two little ones and I enjoy doing a bunch of different videos here on my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be doing my first story time. I'm so excited to be starting story times on my channel. Recently on Instagram, I did ask you guys if you guys would like me to include story times here on my channel and so many of you guys said yes. I was blown away by how many people were actually interested in me starting story times on my channel. So that is what today's video is going to be about. I love watching other people's story times. So that is why I wanted to include it on my channel just because I love it. So Okay guys, so for this story time, I'll be sharing with you guys when I used to sneak boys in my room or I shouldn't say boys because it was only one boy that I ever snuck into my room. So I should say boy, the time that I used to sneak a boy into my room. Before the story starts, I just want to put it out there that this was all in innocence. I was a virgin until I was 20 years old. So there was nothing going on while I was sneaking this boy into my room. So I just wanted to put that out there just in case any of you guys are thinking wild thoughts about why I was sneaking a boy in my room when I was 17. I was still a virgin. I stayed a virgin until I was 20 years old. So now that that's out of the way, I will let you guys know how I used to sneak a boy that I had a crush on in high school into my room. So I'm not going to use his real name. I'm going to make up a name. So we're going to call him Billy. So Billy and I had a crush on each other in high school. He was a year ahead of me. So at this time he had already graduated high school, but we still talked and we still hung out. Now Billy thought it would be a great idea to always come to my window at midnight, one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning and knock on my window. So the first few times that he would knock on my window, I would just kind of talk to him through the window. He would stay outside, I would stay in my room and we would just talk and then he would leave. Well, he used to come to my house so much knocking on my window that it just started happening where he would just crawl into my window and he would hang out in my room with me for a few hours while my mom was sleeping and then he would leave. So on this particular night, he came over and as always, I snuck him into my room and we were just hanging out, talking, watching TV and I thought it would be a great idea at two o'clock in the morning to go to my kitchen and get us a snack and a drink. Being the 17 year old that I was, I guess I thought I was being quiet, but I wasn't and I was being loud. Apparently I woke up my mom in the process of me making a snack for me and Billy. So I didn't know I woke her up. I went back to my room with the snack and the drink. We were hanging out, talking, eating, and then all of a sudden I heard banging on my room door. Now when I tell you that my heart dropped, he looked like he was a deer in headlights, we were scared. My mom was banging on the door because apparently I woke her up and she wasn't very happy about me waking her up at two in the morning when she had to be up at six in the morning for work. So don't ask me why Billy did not hide underneath my bed or hide in my closet or anywhere else. We decided that he would just hide underneath my blankets and that wasn't the brightest of ideas. But in the moment, I don't know what we were thinking and he hid underneath my blankets as if my mom would not see that there was somebody in my bed. So I open the door and my mom just says, what's going on? I'm freaking out and I'm like, oh, nothing. And she was like, why are you up at two in the morning? I heard you in the kitchen. You're making so much noise. I have to be up blah, blah, blah at six in the morning for work. I told her I was hungry and I wanted a snack. So she says, okay. When I thought that we were in the clear, we weren't in the clear because she decided to just push my door open more to see and look into my room. Then she obviously sees that someone's laying down on my bed because Billy was hiding underneath my blankets. She asked me, Jillian, who's that underneath your blankets? And I don't know why I just decided to say that it was my best friend, Edith. And I told her it was Edith. And the, obviously the first thing she said is, well, when did Edith get here? Why is she here at two o'clock in the morning? And I decided to lie to her and just tell her that Edith and her mom got in a huge argument and in a huge fight and that she was upset and she didn't want to stay home. So she came over to our house and I told her that it was okay for her to stay the night. So then I said to my mom, mom, is it okay if Edith stays the night? She's in an argument with her mom, blah, blah, blah. And my mom was like, that's fine, but you guys need to be quiet. I'm trying to sleep and I have work tomorrow. 
I say, okay. Now at this point, I think I'm in the clear and that I think my mom is just going to walk out of the room. No, she doesn't because guess what? Billy's foot is sticking out of the blankets. So his foot was sticking out of the blankets and my mom is thinking that this is Edith. So she looks at his foot and she's like, wow, Jillian, Edith has a huge foot. I don't remember ever seeing her having such big feet. When she said that, my heart dropped because I seriously thought that she was just gonna come into the room and like rip the blankets off to see who it really was. But I guess she was half asleep, she was tired. She didn't do that. Thank you, Jesus, she did not do that. She just told me and Edith to keep it down and to be quiet so she can go back to sleep. At this point, my mom leaves. She goes back to her room, she goes back to sleep. I close the door, I lock it. Then me and Billy think it's the funniest thing that we almost got caught, but we didn't. And she thinks now that Edith has a huge man foot. So <clears throat> you would think at this point that we learned our lessons, we were scared, and you would think that I would tell him to go home or he would just leave. No, he didn't. We ended up watching TV for a little longer and we were laying down and we fell asleep. And the next thing I know, it's morning. And I hear my mom in the kitchen getting ready for work. Every morning, my mom would always make coffee and walk the dogs. I hear my mom in the kitchen making coffee and here she comes again, knocking on my room door. Here goes Billy, or I should say Edith, underneath my blankets again. At this point, I'm not too nervous because my mom thinks that it's Edith sleeping over. I was just scared that she was gonna come in and like try to talk to her, but she didn't. She came, she knocked on the door. She was running late that morning. She asked if I could walk the dogs for her really fast. Well, technically she said, can you girls walk the dog for me because I'm running late. I told her, yeah, I changed into like some shoes really fast. I literally walked the dogs down like three houses and came running back. And I think I even told her that the dogs went to the bathroom when they really didn't. They probably just went pee, but I want to get back home as soon as possible. Thankfully, my mom didn't go in the room, didn't try to talk to her. She thought that Edith was sleeping and she left for work. Then Billy finally leaves like at seven or eight in the morning. And the next day I decide to call my friend Edith and I tell her, hey, by the way, if my mom asked, you spent the night over my house last night. She was completely lost and didn't know what I was talking about. So I told her, I was like, well, you know how Billy always comes knocking at my window and I sneak him in my house and my room and we hang out. Well, we almost got caught and Billy was hiding in my room and I decided to my mom that it was you. By the way, my mom thinks that you have a huge man foot. So she was like, oh great, Jillian, thanks. So now every time Edith would come over to my house, my mom would always look at her feet. And mind you, she doesn't have huge man feet. So I don't know how my mom didn't put two and two together and ask me questions about that night, but she didn't. So till this day, my mom did not know that it was not Edith in my bed. It was really Billy Bob in my bed, hanging out. And till this day, she thinks that Edith has a huge man foot. Sorry, Edith, you'll forever be known as Edith with the man foot because I decided to sneak boys into my room. So yeah, that is my story about sneaking boys or boy into my room. He is the only boy I ever snuck into my room. I never snuck any other boys or guys into my bedroom when I was younger. And I just thought it was funny. I always look back to the story and I always laugh about it. And I always bring it up to my friend Edith how she for, will forever be known as Edith with the man foot, but she laughs about it. She's a good sport. She covered for me. The next day she came to my house and she pretended that it was her that spent the night. So I'm forever grateful for Edith for covering for me and having my back so I wouldn't get my butt beat by my mom. So yeah, that is going to end today's story time. I hope you guys maybe thought it was a little funny, maybe since it happened to me and it was my own story, it's why I think it's so funny, but I thought I would still share it with you guys and hopefully you guys don't change your thoughts about me. I was young and I had a crush and I just did typical, not so smart teenage things. So yeah, I will have another story time coming soon. I'm not too sure what that story time is going to be. I don't know if I'm going to think about another funny time in my life or if I'm going to do a more serious story time. I have a few serious things that happened in my life that I'm thinking about sharing with you guys, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to share with you guys because I know I will cry on camera and I don't know how I feel about crying on camera. So I don't know. I'll just think about what story will be next. 
If you guys enjoy the story time and you want me to do more stories, let me know down in the comments and also give this video a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoyed the video and you want me to do more story times with you guys. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And if you have not already, I would really love if you would subscribe and join me and my YouTube family. I will see you guys next time. Bye.